Hello everyone, I am Aghindra Singh from SAG Infotech. Today we present a new version of Jan GST software, upgraded secured Java language software installation. So first we start the process of installation after downloading the setup from website. Once you download the setup, you will get one folder where you have all setup files of software. So for starting the process, first we install the Java development kit which is JDK file. We start the process, we click on run option and the process is start. Then when the screen is open, we click on option next. Then after that, here is the option which is change. So uh, before uh, changing the option, I will suggest you that for example, if you already using our other softwares, you can change the drive, which is basically to secure the path. So here I mentioned the drive D or for example, here I select the E drive just to make it safe database from the previous softwares so here i change the path which is e java and jdk i click on ok then after that i click on option next so the software so process is functioning Now we click on change option to create a destination path. So here we select the E drive and then we create a folder in Java. So as you uh, see that there is a already created some Java related uh, folders, we create a new folder which is JRE. JRE is basically a environment creator file for Java. So we create uh, a folder and named it by jre.1.8.0 then 73 we created one folder and then click on ok then click on next option then we click on option close after that we will install the next option which is mysql here we use the mysql version 5.5 so i just click it click on run and install the software you click on next option i check this click on next here you can see three options typical and custom so if you not want to change any path and you select it as a c drive only so by default it's uh, you need to click on typical so but if in case you change the path then uh, then you can change the location by using browse option so same process i'll do i select it and then change the path and i select e because previously i select the e drive so i select e drive and then mysql sql server 5.5 this is the main and basic path I click on OK and then again I need to change it by server data files. Here I click on browse option and then select and change the path and mention it E and click on OK. So by following this way I click on next option and I install the software. So it's going to be start. Now I click on next option, then again next, and our SQL is also installed. Now after that I click on next option and select the option detailed configuration. 
After that, I select the option which is Developer Machine option. Same follow by the multiple functional database and then click on next option. Okay, next. Here, as I uh, told you that if you're already using our software, so you need to change the port number, which is double three zero seven, and just uh, check this check box. Click on next option, and then continue the process. Here we change the service name because usually we use web. Then here we mention it by change the name using SQL web and then check this option to configure the same path and click on next here we need to set the password so we write down the root r double o t you, you uh, type it in normal letters it's not necessary to type it in capital then click on enable root access and click on next then after that, it's automatically uh, read all exec executable files and install your software. Then after that, we finish the task. Now we going to install the next path, which is set web app. We use this one app to configure the all Java related files. So I'll start the installation. It's showing the message service start successfully. I click on OK and then I click on setting option and then first select the option project path. Here you can uh, check that there is one uh, location is uh, already given. So we can change the location because previously we select E drive. So here we select the E drive and then create one folder over there and name it by set web. It is optional. You can save it by as per your uh, preference and then click there and then click on open. So we mentioned the project location path and after that click on save option it show you the message project path is successfully saved now click on ok and then click on install we start the process same process we need to mention over there which is java location path so we select e drive and then we select java and select the first one option make sure select first option which is jdk and then click on open here we mentioned the test option we click there because to check the configuration successfully checked or not then we click on save option it's completely successfully saved and then follow the next option here it's automatically show you the installation percentage so you can easily know that how much time it's going to be taken. You can easily check that now it's going to be done. And after that, you click on finish option and do the same path, which is database path. So because previously we select E drive, we select the E drive, click on uh, MySQL and then select MySQL server 5.5 and then click on open. It's automatically select the port and automatically select the root password and then click on test option to configure it and then click on test db just uh, read the message carefully if you already created the way, uh, database then restore the database or you can click on new database i click on save option now if I want to create the uh, database, I click there and creating a new data. So the task is completely done. We click on finish option and it create a shortcut on your desktop. Now what you need to do, click on no and just uh, close the screen. Now just click on uh, service and start your uh, token.
when you get this service setup message ms you need to double click on gen web and your software is going to be open so our software screen will be appear like that Now your software installed. For sign in, you need to mention username password, which is S A G is the username, and password is one two three four. Then click on sign in, and your software is logged in. So this is all the final installation process. Here we welcome your all queries and suggestion related for our new software. as you know that this is a new version and our company sag infotech dealing with the taxation filing from last 18 years with successfully clients for more query you, you can call us on our support number which is 0141407200 and you can also mail us on info@saginfotech.com that's all about our software thank you